The only way you can be saved is through Jesus Christ. He was the only one that left the. Hey, did you get one of these, man? He was the only one. What is it? It's a tract. On the other side, just explains what the Bible says. Sure. About who we are, who God is, and how we can be right with Him. How we can be reconciled to Him. Thanks. You ever think about that kind of stuff, man? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? If you stood before God tonight, would you be innocent before Him, or would you be guilty? Do you think? Christ, you too can have eternal um, life. Yeah. That you will not die in your sin. You will have eternal life. I don't believe in uh, Christ for you. My brother was he like all died, religious. He rose from the yeah. Grave. He defeated sin. He had he like a nervous death. breakdown. He at yeah. The right hand and my of God mom was heaven. all religious. But one day he was coming he to judge the living and the dead. Okay. I'm all religious and I've never had a nervous yeah, breakdown. But I, I don't believe we got to spend our whole lives worrying about what's going to happen in the next life. No, you don't. You can make it right now and then you can, and then you don't have to worry about it ever again. That doesn't do anything. Just baptizing. <laughs> yeah, my name's Eric, man. What's your name? John. John, nice to meet you, buddy. So, we're just out telling people Look, no, I hate it. We've all, time. we've all, okay, we've all sinned against God, correct? Yeah. You look at the Ten Commandments. Yeah, we've yeah. broken every one of them a million times over, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I used to handle track. My brother yeah. was born again Christian. Yeah. And then he had nervous breakdown. His wife left so, him, and so I. So what made you walk away from it? Not really walk away, just back off. Yeah. <laughs> so a slower walking away. Yeah. Yeah. So. Here's the thing, man. When we stand before a holy God, we'll all be guilty. Deep, deep. I still believe it, but... Yeah, the Bible says every man believes it, on the deep down. Side, you know. The Bible says all men know that God exists. And all men know that they'll stand before Him in judgment and they'll be guilty. But in our sin, the Bible says in Romans 1, in our sin, we suppress the truth in unrighteousness. And we try to, even though you know that's true deep down, you try to suppress it, right? You sure. try to push it down and live your so you can live your life the way you want to live it. Yeah, I smoke marijuana, right? I drink food. Exactly. So you push I, I, down that knowledge on purpose. Yeah, I don't want to be in reality. Yeah, man. And the the problem is one day reality's gonna come and find you when you die and you face that holy God and it's gonna be too late. But Jesus Christ died to pay the penalty for our sin so that we can be forgiven. Okay? So if you stand, if you die tonight, John, and you stand before a holy God on Judgment Day, you will be guilty, and it will be too late. The Bible says that all sinners will go to the lake of fire forever and ever. All right, and we're out here tonight because we don't want anyone to go there, man. I don't want you to go there. No, like I said, I got a belief in Jesus, but you need to. It says if you guys sin in your life, you don't. Well. Yeah, if you're unrepentant of your sin, then it's caused it's caused to really examine and see if if your faith is true. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you have sin and you don't care and you're fine just living on with it, yeah. then you got to consider the fact that maybe you're not really that maybe your faith isn't real. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, "What do I say if there, if a man says I have faith but I don't have good works? Can that kind of a faith save him? Mm -hmm. No, it can't." Yeah, my brother told me that. He right. says, "He says your faith is dead faith." Yeah, no, and that's and that's that's true, man. And that's not that's not a minor thing. That's a serious thing. Because John, yeah. Yeah. if you were to stand before God with that kind of faith, yeah. I mean, the Bible says that uh, that if you believe in one God, that's good. But the devil believes that, and he's not saved. I can't believe he got the gall to stand out here. Like I said, I used to handle tracks. We got the gall to stand out here. One, only one thing motivates us, okay? And that is, we want other, we don't yeah. want people to go to hell. I don't want yeah. you to, man. Yeah, I, believe I want that. you to think about it, okay? I believe that. So you read, so you read that that tract I gave you. Yeah. Okay. When you get home and you, maybe in the morning when you sober up a little bit, you yeah. can, you can read that, okay? Cool, buddy. All right. Have a good night, buddy. Have Thanks for night, talking. Thanks. And consider that, man, because look. You could ride out in the street tonight and get hit by a bus and you'd be before a holy God in no time. You don't want that, do you? No. No. You need to repent of your sin, turn away from your sin and put your faith in the death of Christ in your place 
his burial and his resurrection. Mm -hmm. He will save you. He said, if any man comes to me, I will in no wise cast him out. Mm -hmm. He said, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. John, if your sin is weighing on you, you come to Christ tonight, and he'll forgive you. You come to him in repentance and faith. Okay? Okay, buddy. And you trust him. What's your name? Eric. Eric. Thanks, John. You have a good night, okay? You guys got faith, buddy. <laughs> have a good night, bud. See ya. That's all I have to say.